In this next video, I'm going to show you how to add fields and embedded concepts to an entry in the SCLCR concept database. Until this point, you've been adding a title and a year, you've contributed authors and citations, you've entered your conception and your context. In this video, we're going to focus on two of the fields uh, that are available at the top. One is the fields tab here and the other is the embedded concepts. Fields refers to those areas of research that uh, use the concept we're working on. So for example, we're working on organizational communication. So we're going to tell the computer what fields use organizational communication as a concept. So we're going to go ahead and click on fields and then you can see nothing is associated yet so let's add some. Organizational communication is, as a concept, is used in several fields. Now you might be tempted to enter just communication, but that's pretty broad and not particularly useful since everything in the database is about communication in some sense. But for example, organizational communication is used in business communication. So I can hit add field. And you can see that it's now listed right here under business communication. It's also used as part of the general field of interpersonal communication. So I'll go ahead and add this one. It's also used in the field of leadership studies. So I'll go ahead and add that one. So these are three fields that the concept of organizational communication um, are commonly used in. If we wanted to remove one of these, let's say we added a bad one, uh, such as one that we didn't want here, so bad field, and we added this, you'd see it show up on the list, and just like we did with the authors and citations, to get rid of it, we just check the box and hit the button, and now it goes away. So this is how we add the various fields that your concept in question might belong to. And we can do the same thing with embedded concepts. Embedded concepts are other concepts that this one relies upon. So here we're working on the concept of organizational communication. It relies on other concepts in order to be useful or to be applicable to research. So what we're going to do is enter some of the other concepts that organizational communication relies on or includes uh, in order to help make associations between the various topics in our concept database. So for example, an important part of organizational communication is nonverbal communication. So we'll go ahead and add this embedded concept. And then let's add a second one. So for example, hierarchy is an important concept in organizational communication. So we'll add that one in. Another important concept in organizational communication are dialectics. And another important concept that organizational communication relies on is something known as administration. So we'll go ahead and add that as well. So now we've got four embedded concepts. These are concepts that are related to organizational communication or fit inside of organizational communication or that organizational communication, as it's conceptualized here, relies upon. So by adding fields, areas of research that this con concept is used in, and embedded concepts, other concepts that are related to or part of organizational communication, we start to create important connections between the various entries in the database. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the Multimedia tab to add links to web pages or images, videos, sounds, or documents to your conceptions.